Does social media stress you out? It doesn't have to. Check out this week's social media tips and tricks with Heather. All right, here we go. The five seeds of social media on this Social Media Wednesday. I'm very excited to be bringing these to you. My name is Heather, and I'm with the Women in Leadership. All right, we're just going to get started. The five C's of social media. This is an article I found on LinkedIn. It was by, it is by Phil Clampett. If you would like the link to that, just let me know. I'm sure I'm dropping it in the description. So the five C's, coordinates, channels, connects, connections, and corrections. So this is what we're going to talk about today. Coordinates. Social media is just part of your visual identity as a business. So you don't want it to be off brand. You want to, you know, be on brand in all your channels of you know, marketing. Social media, oh, it needs to match and be part of your brand's story. Coordinate your social media content to go with your brand's goals and missions. So why are you doing the social media? What is your goal with it? Channels, shape and constrain communication between people. Different types of channels. Platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. When we're talking about shaping the communication and constraints of communication between people, Oop, it looks like we got a couple of repeats. I clicked on the wrong side. Um, like table kiosks, if you're doing something in person and you have all of your, your stuff out, that, you know, it all says the same thing about what you're doing. Emails, are you using the same language when you talk to people? It's all part of how you do it. Newsletters, websites. Billboards. I thought that was a really cool one, so I had to leave it in there. I don't know anybody personally that's been up on a billboard, but maybe that's where we're headed, you guys. Okay, so now you can passively or actively, I did that backwards, actively manage or passively manage these different billboards. So you get to decide here if you are going to have somebody else do it for you, or is this something you're doing for yourself? That's what we're talking about here. All right, now we're on to content. The words, images, and graphics shared on your platform, basically what content is. Um, categorize your content to build your brand story. You're building your brand story to build the know, like, and trust. Re remember to do the ask in the form of a call to action, but don't make it hard a hard sell every call to action. So you're not like, so that makes sense, right? You're not like overly asking and doing that spammy ask feel, right? We're just communicating. This is where the stuff is. This is where you can connect with me. I'm looking forward to talking to you. All right. Have a plan. It is super important when you're moving into your social media that you have a plan. This is not a fly by your seat kind of a deal. When your plan, it should cover who is posting, what is being posted, when it's being posted, who is sharing it, and who follows up with the responses on social media. This is a complete plan. So good overview for you of what you want to create. Next is connections. Connections. When your social, when your, where is your social media talking, taking your people to? So where are you connecting them to? Where, where are you, you know, walking them from your, Social media over to your website? Is it over to a link tree? Is it over to a calendar app? Is it over to just a message or email? You need to coordinate that, right? Connections. Who is going to respond to the social media inquiries? Where else is linked to your social media? So like I just said, all right. Because life lives, we need corrections. Who and how will missteps be corrected? Who and 
how will you assess the effectiveness of your social media? So what is your expectation with your, uh, your social media? Who and how are the customer complaints going to be handled? Who's going to do it? And what kind of tone are you going to have with your customer service? Is Are you a customer's always right kind of person? Are you like just a, an authentic, oh my gosh, real person? Like, um, So that's your choice as you're creating your brand, right? So that's why this is important. Um, I'm going to go back here uh, before we're, we're done with that and just say that um, when I was reading the articles, they're talking about this year, a lot of people are just going to social media to file their complaints, to talk to companies. So when you are creating that tone and it's all across all of your social media, it's your voice. You want to make sure you're talking authentically like yourself. All right. So thank you so much for uh, joining me today on today's social media Wednesday. I will, will be doing um, live recordings and question and answers every Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. And the video will uh, come to you the following Wednesday. And I hope you have a great day. Stay tuned for the Q&A. Thank you for joining in on the fun. Be sure to like and subscribe for more.